was uh, requested to perform a predicted wind shear alert um, test for a, a guy. And I thought this aircraft would be equipped with it, some do, some don't. And this one isn't, so I'll follow it up another day. But since I'm here, I'll just do the weather radar test. Go through the display and the panel. So starting from the uh, centre pedestal we're on, A300. Uh, there's two weather radar transceivers. System 1, System 2 and off. This is normally an auto. This is the sensitivity of the transceiver. If it's too bright, the display is too bright, you can normally put it down. Um, we've got a test position, which is what we're going to use. We've got the uh, WX weather radar mode. This is normal operation. Um, it provides, I think it's about 320 nautical miles. We've got the turbulence mode. This corresponds to operation in weather and turbulence. Turbulence has a range of about 40 nautical miles. And you've got, lastly, the map is used for display of the ground map. Um, in combination with the tilt, and it's it's, it's whether you kind of crossing oceans and you want a larger overall area to look at. Uh, the tilt is the antenna degrees up or down, depending on the aircraft pitch. So say you're climbing, you tilt it down to get the horizontal view. Uh, so that's for display. Normally you'd have a WXP WS predicted wind shear yeah. um, if it was equipped, but it isn't. So uh, to set this up for the test, quite simple. Uh, gain to max. Select test, which it is. This is normally a um, normal operating procedure to leave it in test so you don't cook anyone. Um, so we'll go to the Ethos display. We'd select map or arc position. Click on map and 60 nautical miles, which it is. Um, let's get rid of the control column. Bit of view there. On the radar control box, select system one or two. We'll just do one system. It's in test. This should be zero, since we're on the ground. And once you do that, you'll get this display. I'll turn it off quickly. Okay, so I'll put, put it into, I'll put system one on, and on the weather radar control panel, select test. Goes into weather radar test on the bottom right. It'll scan and give us a paint of uh, all the colours available. If it failed, you'd get a code, or it'll give you a three-letter code, saying, for example, antenna or transceiver. Or Before you just start troubleshooting, but you can see the scan. You can
can see it scanning and making a pattern. Right, if I went into weather radar, just make sure no one's in front of me. If they're not. And this is the actual weather ahead of us. Now the precaution is about 10 metres when you're doing this. So make sure no one's outside for at least at least 10 metres. Otherwise you cook them. Thirty nautical miles. It's fifteen. So I think there's a snowstorm coming. And what we would normally do is avoid the red. Look for what the animal. Definitely the red. You don't want to be flying in that. That's it, we put all everything back to normal again. So the system is off. Put it into test. That was zero. We have that in auto. And that was fifteen. 